What's up, beast people? Tito's here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. So, today we're gonna continue on Chapter 6, Map 06, and uh, I'm gonna have Luana help me out with some of the fights, but of course, you guys won't even notice the difference. So, yeah, let's continue through the map, and uh, apparently, next will be Piccolo, Ginyu, and Yamcha. So, let's go ahead and do the very first battle. This is a linear map, so... I, I don't know if it is the last one, or maybe just a linear map in the middle of the story. I don't think it's gonna be the last one, so yeah. But as always, I'm gonna try to keep quiet on the cutscenes, like, right now. I never now. thought I'd be stuck fighting alongside you. If I had my choice in the matter, I'd rather have you as my enemy. I suppose I'll just have to wait. When this is finished, I will. I've gotten a lot stronger since then, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't plan on losing to you. Oh, man, you really are stupid. You think you're the only one who's gotten stronger. You trained a lot in hell, right? I mean, I guess you had a lot of time there. Hell. I have no idea what hell's like. It's a pretty rough place, right? Mean guys everywhere? Hot? I bet it's an ideal place to train. I want to go there someday. Can you talk to someone? Get me in? You fool. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea what hell is like. Oh, yeah? Really? I was just guessing. Well, then, tell me what it's like, because I don't have a clue. Hell is a place filled with nothing but sorrow and misery. As well as... Other things. Other things? Like what? Use your... imagination. Oh, come on! You can't tell me even just a little bit, please? If you have time to waste with pointless chit-chat, I suppose you can defeat these enemies all by yourself. Alright, so that was an interesting couple between Cell and Goku. Goku is really just like, he doesn't care, he's super chill, he's asking about hell and he wants to train there, and Cell getting frustrated about it. But it's really cool interactions, it's these interactions that really make this story really really interesting. It's just seeing these conversations between characters that you would not expect them to just sit there and talk, you know? And that's actually really cool. So yeah, we're gonna get into this first fight here. And, I mean, I'm, I'm still not going to expect any difficulty on these Ready? fights. Now, of course, it is Luana who is uh, making the fight, so if there is any bad cell gameplay, that's not my fault. I'm just commentating over this, and I'm thinking if I should do, like, fun commentary over the fights. I commentate the battles like I'm a commentator type of thing, you know? Yeah, maybe that would be fun. I did it on stream once, and it was actually a lot of fun to do. Look at that hug. Cell loves hugging. Cell hugs everyone, and of course, uh, kicks Piccolo in the face. It doesn't hurt Piccolo. Ooh, Dark Gingy. No, it actually looks really cool with those colors. I don't know why you can't use the zombie colors on every character. That would be a really cool color to have available on all characters. Just like as a special thing, you know? That'd be awesome. We could actually uh, allow you to use that color after you beat the story. That'd be a good reward. That'd be pretty good. I don't know. I would take it. Hey, look at the Yamcha, all fierce. That'd be awesome. <laughs> this is a, I mean, this, it's all about Yamcha. It's all about Yamcha. We want the zombie-colored skin for Yamcha. Oh boy, that ultimate right there. That was powerful. It was perfection. That was perfect. It was perfect. Alright, alright. Okay, she wow, she totally missed the dragon rush there two times. Damn. Okay. That's another win right there. And actually I'm starting to get some Zenny, which is pretty good. That's honestly another thing that I'm kinda concerned about this game is getting Zenny to unlock stuff. Like there should be more ways to get Zenny faster to be able to unlock all the things in the game. So that would be awesome. Oh, 
Okay, so I got a little bit interrupted, so I'm back. But yeah, it always happens. I can never make a perfect video. So it is a thing. And Frieza, cut scene. what's up? Are you uh not gonna turn into that golden farm thing? And what about you? Are you not going to turn into that ridiculously named Saiyan form of yours? I want to, but I can't transform at the moment. I'm having trouble releasing my Saiyan power. If I were used to this Link thing, it's possible I might be able to do something. This is pretty much the best I can do right now. And after all that training I did at Lord Beerus's place too, what a total waste of time. Speaking of Beerus, I remember seeing him the last time I went to Earth. How is it you came to associate with the God of Destruction? Ah, yeah, about that. There was this time when Lord Beerus tried to destroy the Earth, and I fought him and tried to stop him. You picked a fight with Beerus? Ha! <laughs> you are obviously no match for him. It wasn't a fair match because he wouldn't fight me at full power. So anyway, after that, I started going to his place from time to time to train there. My dear Goku, fighting the God of Destruction, you Saiyans really are foolish creatures. Once I train with Whis some more, and Vegeta and I get a lot stronger, I am definitely going to want to fight Lord Beerus again. When that happens, I don't want him to hold anything back. <sighs> hmm? I find myself growing tired of this conversation. If you love fighting that much, then let's get started. Yeah, now you're talking. Okay, that's another interesting conversation right there. They just talked about Beerus, and... I mean, that's definitely something they would never talk on the anime, probably. But it's actually cool how Goku explains to Frieza what happened, and Frieza's just totally shocked and saying, Wow, you're you're dumb, like, picking a fight with Beerus. And Goku's just like, I don't care, I just want to get stronger and be able to fight Beerus at full power, so... That's pretty cool. That's honestly a really cool interaction right there. Yet again, this game is definitely... The story mode is good just because of the interactions and the conversations each character has. It's really awesome. Go! Real well done game. Well. Graphics wise, it's probably the best looking Dragon Ball game. It looks super anime. The gameplay itself, it's very accessible to anyone. Even if you're not a good fighting, fighting game uh, player. Or even if you don't really like fighting games, I mean, this one should still be easy enough for you to actually learn and maybe get to like, honestly. And it's super high level competitive as well, because there is a lot of stuff that you can only do if you actually practice. There's a lot of stuff you need to practice for. But the basics of it are actually really accessible, so... Anyone can actually get good at this game and make amazing fights and... They look super fast, super anime, and that's what uh, any Dragon Ball fan would like, so for a Dragon Ball fan, this game is perfect, of course, and for non-Dragon Ball fans, this is an amazing fighting game as well, because it's just, it's super smooth, looks amazing, and, I mean, if you're a fan of fighting games, of course, it's, yeah, again, another great game, so, Fighters, there's nothing wrong with it, honestly. I mean, there's fans that could say, oh, there's not the actual story mode, oh, there's not... I don't know what else they could actually complain for. I guess transformations on the characters or all the characters, but, I mean, I'd rather see less characters and have them include more with DLCs and have each character be unique than seeing a lot of characters and they're all just copy-paste, almost. They just change the super attacks and that's about it. So... I'd rather see what we have here on Fighters. It's actually really, really better. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really think there's any fails with this game. Anyone that complains about Fighters, I don't know what type of world they live in. Because this is a pretty good game. If you want a game with a good story mode, I mean, just go to... I don't know. Any other Dragon Ball game that has a story mode with the original. Well, it would appear the machine is safe, at least. Yeah, I've about had it with this. Not being able to destroy these dopey tagalongs is really starting to get on my nerves. What's with Bulma? Does she not value her pathetic existence? As long as she continues to be useful, then that's really besides the point. 
If I were to hazard a guess, I'd say you had a plan brewing. You'd be correct. But I require more than just some foolhardy button pusher for what I have in mind. The advantage, I believe, is Bulma giving Goku and the others some sort of technological assistance. Aha, yes, now I see. So it's her you're after, or more precisely, her skills. Well, the restoration of my army will require talented technicians. But before I begin recruiting, I think we have a little trash problem to take care of. Okay then, so Frieza wants to this get Bulma to join his army. I don't think that's ever gonna happen, so... I feel like Bulma is the type of character that if she can actually uh, take control of Beerus the way she did, she can take control of Frieza at some point as well. I don't know, I mean, it would be interesting to see. And honestly, what would be really, really interesting to see is Frieza getting maybe like having a son or something, and actually being a good dude, you know, like Ready? next generation after Frieza, it's actually Fight a good out. dude, you know, it's not as bad as Frieza, so that would be awesome, I believe that's how the Frieza race is gonna evolve, and they're gonna get to interact with the other races, cause we do know from Dragon Ball Online and everything that in the future there's gonna be the Frieza race, the, I mean, I believe there's gonna be the Kaios, there's gonna be the Boo race, Saiyans and humans, they're all gonna like live together almost, so that's actually gonna be awesome to see. That's why Dragon Ball Super, oh my god, I'll have to do a video on that. Dragon Ball Super Season 2, everyone's been talking about that, and that will be a video on its own. I'll let you guys know when that's up, but I never wanna. I have a lot of thoughts on that, because that's a very, very good topic. And about the LC2 for this game as well, that will be another video, because, you know, I kind of kind of want to do some content for you guys, so yeah, all ideas are always appreciated on the comments down below as well, so yeah, leave a comment, saying anything that you'd like me to talk about, or anything you'd like me to play, it's always appreciated, the ideas. And, uh, okay. The switch ins between Freeze and Cell. Look at that, look at that power. Okay, this is good practice for her. I'm just getting better at this. Dang, not even bad. They got destroyed. Level 21. Amazing. I wonder what's gonna happen now with the story. And after this arc, we're still gonna have the last arc of this story mode. And of course. Hopefully all of that will be uploaded fast for you guys from now on. I'm trying to like get everything recorded at once so that I can have all the videos ready and just bulk upload. Here we go. <sighs> what a relief. I thought I was going to die back there. Huh? Frieza? So? All right, Goku. Explain now. Uh I don't really understand the details myself, you know, so it almost seems like Freeze isn't a bad guy anymore. Are you nuts? Evil might as well be seeping out of every pore in his face. No reformed person could ever look that evil if they tried. Now, how about you shut up and do something about these guys? Uh, Bulma, things are about to get complicated right now. Enough talk. You must now activate that machine. At once! Time is scarce, as is my patience. Stop this needless repetition, will you? Hey, calm down and relax. We have our own problems to figure out too, you know. Okay, I get it now. But, are you sure? Yeah, there's no need to worry. All you need to do is just use the machine on them. After that, we can all go and defeat 21 together. Goku, uh, are you serious? Yeah. Uh, but... What are you waiting for? Hurry it up, woman. <laughs> you think threats like that are gonna work on me? What was that? If I die, then who's gonna be left to neutralize the waves, huh? 
I mean, unless you want to be stuck with that artificial soul inside you forever. Is that what you want? Bulma just got really brave all of a sudden. Really? She seems the same as she always is. Either I use the machine and you agree to help us, or you stay like that forever. So, what'll it be? Fine, have it your way. Time is scarce, as is my patience. Lord Frieza? Regaining my true power and defeating Android 21 is my top priority right now. No matter what, I need to defeat whoever and whatever stands in the way of my freedom. Don't you agree? Of course. As you wish, Lord Frieza. Remember, you promised. Let me start up the machine now. Ha! Wait, just... No, I think that might have actually worked. It's gone. That weird presence is gone. It would seem those artificial souls were trying to take control over us but now they are completely gone so the soul inside me is the only one left now if this is a joke i'm not laughing you really aren't making this easy in fact you're making it more difficult in any case i'd like to thank you for finally removing that annoying presence from my body so when the time finally comes for me to kill you Hey, what are you raising your hand for? Nothing's gonna happen, you know. Huh? Impossible! My power's all gone! What went wrong here? This isn't how you said things would go. What? But I thought that using the machine would let you fight! I don't... Did I somehow get confused? I spent so much time explaining things to you, and you still didn't understand it? So in other words, you deceived us. You don't know what you're talking about. Do you have any idea what's going on? I didn't lie. See, you're free to move as you please, aren't you? It won't let you use enough power to actually fight, though. Explain what's happening here. I demand answers. This machine can only suppress the waves. So even though it allows you to move freely, it doesn't allow you to fight like normal. Ooh, so that's what it does. Whoops, my mistake. It was so confusing. I guess I got it wrong. You maggots. You pay for this. Oh, and we need to use the neutralizing machine every so often, or else we're back to square one. Then you won't be able to get a single word out. What? So then. Unfortunately, it would appear for the time being, I need you and that wretched machine. You know, Bulma, I'm surprised that you actually have the audacity to threaten a perfect being such as myself. <laughs> Say whatever you want, it won't change anything. So, will you work together with us or not? Hmm. Do you actually think I'm just going to nod and say yes? Uh, hey! What are you doing? You aren't linked anymore, are you? Don't forget what'll happen without my machine! Unfortunately, my link still has yet to be severed. Considering this, I have no use for you now. What? Really? Every one of you. All of you need to receive punishment for deceiving me. Wait! Don't say that! Why not team up with us for now? Sympathy is for idiots. You think I'm just going to let that woman string me along like this? Just hurry up and do as I say! me does that mean the soul inside frieza stopped him from doing something bad again
Why won't you listen more carefully? And just simply do as I say. Let me go! So be it. But don't forget how much of my wrath you incurred. And be prepared to suffer the consequences once this is all over. You're worthless. Nothing but a little maggot. But I suppose I have no choice for the time being. Whoever's inside of me, pay attention! It's all up to you to defeat 21. Do you hear me? Even if you need help from Goku and his allies. Alrighty then, that was very interesting. That was kind of confusing. Like, how exactly that whole machine thing works, but... Uh, Alright. So... Apparently Freeze is still the same, but we're go he's gonna help us. And... Uh, okay, that's gonna be the thing. So, next time we're gonna do map 7. And apparently... Uh, where the hell do we need to go? Okay. We need to get to Piccolo. That's where we need to go. So, yeah, we're gonna end up this episode here. So, hope you all... Have enjoyed watching this episode, and if you did, you already know, fire punch that like button down below. Subscribe to join the Beast Army for more Pokemon and Dragon Ball content, and I will catch you all on the next one. So until then, everyone, stay beast. See ya!